we're in the graphing section. We're going to talk about translations and finding coordinates of moved points. So when we move up or down, we're going to be moving the y coordinate. And let's see, let's see why that is. Right? So if we move this thing one down, the x coordinate hasn't moved, right? The x coordinate is the same. But the y coordinate has moved down by one. So we subtract one from the y coordinate. It used to be at four, zero, now it's at four, negative one. So we're moving up, so we're going to add 3 to the y-coordinate, so we can move it up 3. And we see that our answer is going to be 1, 3. You can also just look at it on the graph and do it, whatever you prefer. So if you have 4 units up, we'll add 4 to the 2. So we'll have 2 plus 4 equals 6. So we know our answer is 3, 6. And we can check that with the graph if we move up 4, 2, 3, 4. We'll end up at 3, 6. All right. How about moving this down by one. So four minus one will give us three. And we'll get that point right there, negative three, three. Okay, how about this? So we take our one six and we move one to the left. So, oh, that's going to put us right on the y-axis, but it's left, meaning that gets subtracted from the x, so we get 0, comma, 6. The 1 gets subtracted from the x. That should be a 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we should end up with 0, 6. How about this? Negative three, four is translated four units down. So we're gonna go ahead and go down. And we're gonna get to negative three, zero. Another way to do that is to do four minus four. Up and down affects the y, so we should get negative three, zero. Okay, six, five is translated four units down, so five and four. So we'll have five minus four equals one. So we'll have six comma one. So if we moved this down four units, you'd end up at six comma one. Cool. This is a fun one. I, I like the ones that involve pictures. So negative one, negative five is translated five units to the right. So we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna move there. And you can see that that's four comma negative five, if you'd like, just to do it with the graph. But you can also say, hey, I'm moving five units to the right. That means I need to affect the x in a positive way, so negative 1 plus 5. And that's going to give me this 4 over here. So I'm going to end up with 4, negative 5. OK. 4, 3 is translated 2 units down. So I'm going to take this point. I'm going to translate it 2 units down. And that's going to give me 4, 1. But again, I can say, hey, I want to take that 2, and I want to subtract it from this 3, because I'm moving up and down, so that involves the y. So it should be 4, 1. OK, and then 0, negative 5 is translated 1 unit to the right. So that's going to go here. And 
and that'll give me one negative five. But again, I can take this one and I can add it to the zero. So I will get one comma negative five. Okay, guys, um, you know, let me just write something down for you. So up y plus one down y minus one left. Sorry for my handwriting x, well, I should go in order, but left x minus 1, I'll put the right here, right x plus 1. So if you move up, you're adding 1 to the y. If you move down, you're subtracting 1 from the y. If you move right, you're adding 1 to the x. And if you move left, you're subtracting 1 from the x. So here, we're moving up. So we're adding one to the y. Now it's not always one, it's whatever the number is. In this case, it was one, so I got one in my head. Right? But if you moved up three units, you'd add three to the y. So here we're gonna add one to negative two, and that's gonna give us 10 comma negative one. Or this point. Okay, so that's just a review. I think you guys figured that out on your own though. All right, I'll see you next time.